everybody don't mind the background and the look your boys at work but i still gotta drop something you know what i'm saying we just got some news a couple of matches got added to SummerSlam, so i wanted to add those on here real quick get my predictions and then we see what happens from there they added the six woman tag team match to SummerSlam pre-show and also now just breaking news added sammy Zayn and neville versus the dudley boys I'm excited they added Sammy. I don't know why they try to keep him out of SummerSlam. I mean, him and Neville together is going to be a great tag team. Against the Dudleys, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could give the Dudleys that run of their vets and they're here to push over new talent, but Neville and Zayn really don't need a push from the OGs. People already know they're great. So I would have liked to see them against an actual challenge. Um, I'm going with Sammy Zayn and Neville in this match and hoping the Dudleys break up and maybe we get a Bully Ray run on WWE before he gets too old and can't do what he's used to doing. I look forward to that. Him and Devon together is not just... I've I seen it enough through my childhood. I'm really not trying to see that anymore now. I guess that's just the way I feel about that. Uh, the six-woman tag team match is going to be Carmella, Becky Lynch, and Naomi against Natalia, supposed to be Eva Marie and Alexa Bliss. I don't know what's wrong with these superstars. So many people ended up failing that uh wellness policy whatever five four or five people already on a suspension right now and they're sharing needles same blunts i don't know what's going on but they're a mystery partner i guess now for the middle person so it's gonna be natalia alexa bliss and a mystery i'm guessing it could be the bella twins coming back maybe i'm hoping emma i want to see emma there but Unless they make this again, the next chance to bring Bailey up, but I doubt they'll do that the day after she fights for the women's title. But hey, if they do that, you know it's going to be a crazy pop. So I will look forward to that. I'm going to go with the team of Carmella, Becky Lynch, and Naomi only because I know what they can do. Natalia's just been doing more of putting over instead of trying to finally find herself, I guess, which I don't like this whole black heart thing. She's not good at being a heel, obviously. She doesn't know what it is to have an attitude. Like, I don't like it. Alexa Bliss, though, she's doing her thing. So, I mean, I don't want to see Alexa lose, but I don't know who the mystery partner is, and I don't really like the way Natalia's going right now, so I'm not going to go with their team. I'm just picking the Naomi, Carmella, and Becky Lynch team. Hopefully they take it. If we get any more matches that pop out before the weekend is over, we'll be back here again with another blog. Salute to y'all, man. Internet smarts. Well, well, while I'm running this little blog, they add another match. So, might as well add that one in here, too. They just added a 12-man tag team match. I swear, Teddy Long got to be involved with this somewhere. It's pretty much all the tag team from SmackDown, too. So, that's what makes it even more hilarious. But they got American Alpha, the Hype Bros, and the Usos versus Bree Zango, the Ascension, and the Vaude Villains. The fact that they have the Hype Bros involved in this at all. I'm sorry for American Alpha. I mean, me, I, I'm going to go both sides with this one. American Alpha is going to win the match because I love American Alpha. Hype bros, I hope y'all get hurt and never come back. I know that sounds wrong, but I cannot stand to see Mojo Raleigh's old man body wiggling around all over the place. You can't tell me y'all work out that much and you still look like that. That's ridiculous. But I hate the Hype bros, man. Why did they have to put them with the Usos and the Hype bros? I want American Alpha to win. I just hope these, the heel group of Brizango, Ascension, and uh, the Vault Villains do some kind of ridiculous beatdown on them and just get them out of here. They do not need to be in this. Send them back to NXT or wherever he was at before. That, I don't know. But yeah. Non biased. I got American Alpha win in the match. <laughs> I'm just saying them. Forget about the Usos and the other two guys. I don't even want to name them anymore. But, I'm telling you right now, Vault Villains, Ascension, and Brazango, they're going to come in there trying to prove that they belong in this tag team division too. So, I mean, we know what's going to happen. Tag team match breaks into a huge fight. Either disqualification or somebody wins, whatever. But that just got added to the pre-show too, so I'm getting, they got to fill it in. It is a two-hour pre-show. They're going to have to, for, like I said, they keep saying how it's more about wrestling and talking. You're going to need a lot more than three or four matches in a two-hour pre-show to fill that in. But let's see. I am looking forward to the six hours, though. Can't complain about that. It's going to be a hell of a wrestling weekend. Once again, Internet Smarks. So Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Internet Smarks 1 for all news, rumors, and updates for everything WWE, as well as live tweets for all WWE programming.